Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, The Lost Chevalier, and you're welcome back to the elevator game with Cat Girls. Let's load up. Uh, we were here. Okay, we are here now, and I don't have any clue of what to do. Um, please call 19. 19. Please call 19. I already did the card one. There is nothing else here. I still have this one over here. This is clearly three numbers. Five, three? So that's five, three, and eight. It has to be five, three, eight. Or it's another thing. A three five. No, five three eight. Really don't know. Is there anything over here? No. Is there anything over here? No. Over here? No. Nothing with these things. Nothing, nothing, nothing. What the hell? Is that cat photo that was next to the hospital bed earlier? What is doing here? Deep inside, always knew cats are behind everything. Manager of the universe. <laughs> Leon. Leon? Seems like one of those markings left by an only desperate teenager. Then again, I'm also guilty of writing down Kirin's name with a marker on the desk once. So I'm probably not the one to judge. But that's only because Kirin wrote my name down first. I guess love does make you do silly things. Oh, a coin! Some kind of old coin. Could I use it with the phone behind the counter, maybe? Yes, indeed, I could. Okay, let me try calling the number from the pamphlet. There we go. Hello? Hello? Uh, hello. Is this... Oh, stray kitten. You're looking for guidance, hmm? Yes. I can feel that the year 1780 might be relevant to you in your search. 1780? Also, trust the candles. Let them be your spiritual guide. Okay. Good luck. Wow, that was, that was a good call. They hear up on me. What kind of fortune story reading was that? 19... So 19... Yes, first floor. 70780. 7... I'm recording, right? Yeah, everything is great. I'm looking at straight at the camera, sorry. Seven eight zero. Seven eight. Zero. And trust the candles. Got it. Ooh! What the? What happened to this floor? Why is it so small, especially compared to all the others? There is a tree trunk here, and it, that's pretty much all that there's, that's here. There is nowhere else me, for me to go besides back to the elevator. So if they, if there is any kind of clue to, for me to find here, what could it be? The one thing that stands out the most. The person on the phone says something about letting the candles guide me. So I'm guessing they are somehow significant. There are five of them here. Could they be telling me to go to the fifth floor next? 
There are five candles in the tree trunk. Mm, there is nothing else. Trust the candles. One, two, three, four, five. So, five, I guess. Well, I'll be damned. Bingo. Now it's three candles. Let's follow the green brick road. Three. Ooh, a note. Did I hit the jackpot? It doesn't look like the candle trail is over yet, though. I'm doing my best to ignore it, but I keep hearing things, I keep seeing things. None of this is real, none of this can be real. I hope all of this stops once I get out of here. Another silver nose. Guess I'm not the only one who's questioning the sanity around here. Four. Four candles. Here we go. Four. What the freak is that? Is that a fortune teller? Well, that's not creepy at all. What is this supposed to be? Mannequin fortune telling? Okay, there are more candles. I'm supposed to follow them further. A fortune cookie? You will travel to many exotic places in your lifetime. Well, that's nicely vague. I just wish I had more of a feeling of those places being ones that serve really good sal salmon in the company of my girlfriend, rather than weir weirder and weirder hellscapes in this horrible building. It's better to be alone sometimes. Sometimes? But I don't want to be alone right now. I want Kirin. It is a thought this damn cookie is just taunting me. You already know the answer to the question lingering inside your head. Honestly, I feel like the more I learn, the less I know I'm here. No, I'm not about to overthink this. Excuse me? Oh no. No, 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 no. Hearing the elevator door shutting behind me, I instantly panic and launch myself at the wall, pressing the bottom call like crazy. I definitely don't want to be stuck in this in this cramped space with a creepy mannequin that, for whatever twisted reason, resembles Kirin. Just thinking about how that wrecked thing is right here behind me leaves me in ice cold sweat. The idea of having to turn around and look back only to find that it's changing places or move closer. Oh, thank God. Okay, second... Oh, it's not there. Everything in my being is telling me to get back to the ground floor and get out of here as fast as I still can. But I fight it down. I have come this far, I can't kitty out now. Trying not to dwell on the fact that I can't see where the mannequin even, even is anymore. Hopefully not in this elevator with me, dear bastard. I stab the bottom for the second floor just like the candles show me. I should have just gone to the elevator, I shouldn't have lingered in there, opening the freaking things. What the frick is this? There is no time to think. I snatch the node before me, then immediately mash the button to the ground floor. This floor isn't even a proper fall, it's just an obscure decorated wall and there is no candles that I can see anymore. Please, let's be the end of the line. Please, just let me go. Please, just let me out. Okay, so far everything looks normal. Yes, almost there. Huh. 
<sighs> Phew. Am I safe now? It doesn't seem like any creepy mannequins are following me. Hopefully I managed to reset the game. It's you again. What is that guy doing out there in this call out here in this call? Uh Okay, let's see. Let's see here. April 17th. Old Matt Marty threw a fit after he caught a smoking behind the gym again. I swear he's got the nose of a bloodhound. We're running out of places to go and with a 10 minute break, it's not like we could we could have a lot of options. Fuck that guy. These are they definitely feel like paces torn from a diary belonging to someone from our school. And the attitude. I guess that's that for this adventure. I should get back into the building and try playing the game again, shouldn't I? I swear, Kirin, the things I do for you sometimes. The guy is gone. Okay, I think we are safe. Author worldly guidance, achievement unlock. Is there anything here? It's a lot of fun reception window. No. Uh, something here? No, it doesn't say anything. What about this thing? This is already done. The Nekos. Ah, oh, the Penguin Rebellion. This is the the symbol for the for this thing, the pirate treasure map. Looks like a maze. What the hell is this maze about? I don't understand it yet. Really? What the hell is this? 538. 1538? I'm never calling my any my any fortune reading services ever again. Okay, that's a lie. I'm not I'm too fond of the art to just give up on it. I'm not touching that car. Okay, got it. If there is anything in cotton, I can use this. Okay, nothing here. Okay, let me see again the... No. No. Here. 538. It must be 538. No, nothing. There's nothing in this floor. I might go for a guide. Because I can't seem to... To nail the... the, the, the that puzzle in question. Yes, leave the building. Or I could trade the one, two, three, four. I already tried it, but it didn't work. Is there anything up here? No. Okay, let me see quickly a guide. 
If there even is a guy. I hope there is. Oh, I'll be done. I'll be done. There is no... There is no guy. I'm screwed. Completely, completely and utterly screwed. So it's me and my all good brain. Really? What the hell is this? This is a 3, this is an 8, this is a 0. Maybe 0, 3, 8? Or do, I'm a ruin. I'm a ruin this backwards. I'm trying to look at it uh, from all angles. Wait, this one is like. Isn't this one like separated from the rest? Five one three eight. Five one three eight. Maybe. Let me just save. Let's try that. 5138. Five. One. Three. And eight. Maybe this will work. Maybe it will, will not work. And I'm just uh, losing time. I'm just wasting time. Yep, just wasting time. Maybe I'm seeing things that they are that aren't actually there. Maybe the skull doesn't mean it doesn't mean a thing. Let's see, phone one four two six two ten five one. Uh huh. What about my notes? Oh, I have a lot and they are all number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. What about the back? Done it, 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 done it. What about this key though? If I get lucky. Let's try the one, two, three, four. I'm really in one. Let's go to two. Three. And four. 
If nothing happens, it's a code for another moment in the game. Oh, wait, something did happen. Well, there's definitely something odd about this floor. What exactly, though? I don't know yet. I will need to go in and investigate. I got here only because of that shady-looking guy. Can I really trust him? What if this is some kind of trap? Well, what the hell is that? Water and fungi? As I reach the other end of the corridor, it becomes very clear why something looks odd from further away. The floor is literally falling apart, leading into a section that is submerged in water. The water itself is muddy and I can't tell how deep it goes. Too bad there is no, th there, there don't seem to be any loose rocks lying around here. I could throw one for it to give me at least some kind of idea. How does it make sense for water to be present here like this is on the floor, on the floor, fourth floor anyway? If the floor is falling apart, wouldn't the water escape somewhere, like pour down through the third floor or leak outside? Is the other world thing at work here, making seemingly impossible things somehow possible? The idea seems absurd, but perhaps my earlier attempt at the elevator game influences something in this building. Perhaps Kirin playing it those couple of days ago influences things in weird ways as well. It's what I tell myself, at least, as I'm faced with the issue before me. The water seems scary. What if there is piranhas in it? If Kirin were here with me, she would probably say, don't think about piranhas, Asahi. Imagine there is salmon in it instead. Mmm, salmon. What? A cat girl, a cat girl can drink, can drink the room. <sighs> Trying to fight off a shiver, I put one of my legs carefully into the water. The water is cold, and my boot gets flooded almost immediately. Oh, that's the worst feeling. Oh, I hate the feeling of my feet squishing around in cold water, especially when I know that when I leave the building, I'm going to be trudging through freezing snow. Why did I do this again? To my relief, there is secure footing fairly close to the surface. I might, I might, I fight off the urge to get out and run for f dear life as I take another step in. My foot lands a bit deeper in this this time around. Oh no, don't tell me the water gets deeper and deeper and I'm doomed to swim my way across. There, is, there are definitely piranhas in there, in here. Or, or octopuses, I'm not sure what's worse. What the hell? Taking another couch of steps, I realize the depth seems to have stayed the same. Does this mean the water level won't go past my tights? If so, traversing is still good to be a pain, but that's definitely a better alternative than swimming. Maybe we'll be able to keep a shred of my sanity after all. I mean, just imagine all of that water getting into places. Ugh. I have no idea if this is become because of my transformation, but I have definitely noticed that I'm not fond of water the way I used to be back in the day. It sort of, of makes sense though, doesn't it? I will have to be careful not to get my tail wet. Drying it is always such a pain, and I could catch a cold easily. Hopefully this floor doesn't extend to oblivion. I don't know what it, this is, but it looks pretty, all things considered. And it's a source of light in this. And it's a source of light in this place. Once I'm back home, I will have to do some research on glow-in-the-dark mushrooms. As I make my way further, step by step through the ice cold water, I came across a fork in the road. Well, a split in the corridor, but somehow fork in the road sounds more the right. It doesn't look like the left side really leads anywhere, though. It's just a dead end with some of those glowing mushrooms. As for the right side... This corridor extends further and I can see something in the distance. Seems like that's where I will be heading next, then. Huh? Wait, what was that? Huh? What the hell? It's then that I see it. Something moving in the water right next to me. But instead of getting scared by it, I can feel my kitty instant suddenly kicking in. Before I have a chance to even think about what I'm doing, I'll launch myself at the thing, snatch it out of the water with a swift jerk of my hand. Fish! It's it's a mackerel! I jump down to the fish with abandon, simply because I can't help myself. 
It's one of the things I hate about be having become the way I am right now. I fall prey to my kitty instincts sometimes, and I, they they can be weird and confusing more than half of the time. The macaroni tastes very good, pretty good though. I'm not, it's not something I do ever have say as a human, biting down a, on a raw fish taken right out of the water. In the next minute, the hunted meal is gone completely. The satisfaction I feel after having accomplish, accomplished such a feat is short-lived, however. Not long after swallowing my last bite, I can tell that something started is starting to fail. Something started to feel very, very off. To feel, not to fail, to feel. Joseph, learn to read. Oh no. Why am I here in the floor? Wait. Why does everything look so... Big? Oh no, I'm a cat? What? What is going on? There you are. Oh. Kirin, is that you? Of course it's me, silly. Who else did you expect? Sapporo? Eating that mackerel was a mistake. Come on, we're going to be late. Whew. Oh, breathe in, Asahi. I'm... Nope, 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 nope. There is no mackerel anywhere, Asahi. Ignore the mackerel. Just keep walking. Just keep walking. I can barely see the corridor up ahead. This place is starting to get dark. Wait, what's that? Oh, the camera! Oh, is that the... Did the Sapporo say something about the camera? Before Kirin... Oh, what kind of conspiracy am I becoming a part of here? As I make my way onto the strange landing, I come across something I don't really expect to see. Behind the sliding door, there is a cozy looking Japanese style room, and it's situated in such a way that the water doesn't reach it. I'm not about to ask to be questions about why, when that when this means I can get out of the cold water, even if for a little bit. Making a beeline around the table, I quickly move to the other side of the room. I don't want to stand right in front of the camera, which is facing the entrance. Call me superstitious, but I have heard too many tales of cameras stealing people's souls, I'd rather avoid having mine get snatched by surprise. After what I expected or, or what I experienced around this building so far, I don't trust this place to be logical in any way either. It's always better to be safe than sorry. Okay, pick up the camera. Oh, nice. Seems like it's one of those old-style Polaroid ones. So any photos I take should get printed out almost instantly. Should I try using it? How the heck did people take selfies with this? There is no screen to see yourself in. Ohio Neko. <laughs> Logro de bloqueado. Oh wait, there is something tap on the underside of the camera. The crosses in this place seem to be crucial, it's like there is some sort of breadcrumbs, but I can't work out how, I feel like I'm missing something. What secrets do they hold? How am I supposed to make sense of them? Crosses? Like the one on the on the wall in the, in the lobby? Hmm. Got it. What's this? I checked the drawers one by one, but all seem to be locked. Zombies here are cassette tapes. Do they have anime on them? In French? <laughs> it seems like a movie. Oh damn, it's a VCR. This thing must be ancient. My aunt used to show me cartoons recorded on this type of things when I was still a baby. Good times. Not that I want to open. What the hell is this? Key cool. It's a photo of someone, I have no idea who. Key Cool, is that a band name? I've never heard of it. I haven't seen this thing before. Oh, it's a guitar. It's a broken mirror. 
and it's so dirty, so distorted, that I can't even see my own reflection in it. Though maybe that's currently for the better. Wait. Something in the in the drawers? No. He cool. It's the 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 same thing. The level of the cassette inside says key cool. Could it be the recording of a concert? Whoa! Can I... Should I leave it like this? Beautiful images, but what do they mean? Is that a VTuber? Looks like a bit What? Cock on TV. Achievement unlock. Maybe I have seen all the images. After traversing all of that cold water, the idea of hiding my feet under a contact suit so to warm myself up sounds lovely right now. But should I really do that? I don't know what's under it, and somehow I'm afraid to look. What if there is some ghost under the table just waiting to drag me under the covers? Just a couple of empty boxes. You're a cat, shouldn't go, you go into the cutting? This room doesn't seem to lead anywhere else. Does this mean I'm going to have to head back into the water? Brr, the mere idea is making me shiver. But I suppose if there is no other choice, there is no other choice. It's not like I want to stay in here forever I either. So there must be something here. Lights off. The Gotetsu Gotetsu thing. No, I think there is nothing here. Leave the room. Okay, I guess it's time to stop post postponing the nibble. Oh, great! Now it's blood. What is that? The water red all of a sudden. That's not blood, is it? Is it? Ugh! I swear, my ti my tigs, the things this place makes me do. Double ugh. This is even more unpleasant than the first time. Me being called a sign now that the water is going like this. Uh where is the where is the road? What wait, what the hell? This wall, I'm pretty sure it wasn't here before. This is the way I came from, I'm positive. Does this mean my way back got sealed off somehow? There is only one way forward, Asahi. Come on, you can do this. No using, no using getting cold feet now. <laughs> Get it? Cold feet. Ugh, I'm already losing my mind. Cat girls and water definitely don't mix well together. Well, there is one good chance in all of this, at least. The corridor got illuminated somehow. Oh, one of the crosses. No, no, don't play with my heart like this. Is this a side... Is this side a dead end too? There is a next mark in Rex right there on the wall. And it's similar to the one I saw in the lobby just bigger. Is this one of the crosses the more attached... The note attached to the camera mentioned? This is a crazy idea, but here goes nothing. Let's take that camera for a spin. Oh my god, the flash. Great. Huh? What? I took a photo of the cross on the wall before it me disappear. I didn't even blink. What what kind of witchcraft is this? Is this old camera some kind of magical camera that can rend reality? It's getting crazier and crazier. But does this mean I have solved the riddle of the crosses? Is this why Sapporo wants me to find it? Will I be able to somehow save Kirin with the help of this thing? As a four or two? What's that? Some kind of chest? And the place around here is creepy as hell. What are those pillars in the distance? Was it some kind of garage that got flooded or something? 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 Is that a note? I get closer to the chest, seeing as it's the only viable point of interest right before me in this bizarre room. And of course, the moment I do, I do spot a red node at the very bottom of it. It's almost like a carrot or a fish. 
on a stick that's dangling before my face and luring me right into some kind of trap. One I really don't want to fall into. But it's a note and I want it. It's going to be fine though. That's what I, keep, I tell myself as I reach into the open slit. The chest is pretty big, but the note isn't that far out of reach. Getting into the chest itself won't be necessary. And, all, and so, I lean in further and further, in confident that my arm length will be enough to catch the piece of paper. The next thing I know, there is a violent shove to my back, and the whole, suddenly, and the whole world suddenly spins before my eyes. The note quickly becomes at the least of my worries. I stumble inside the box helplessly, shock, shock out of my wits. I'm pretty sure there is wasn't anyone behind me. There couldn't have been. I would have heard someone approaching me. Ah shit. The sound of the box lit closing above me puts me in a panic mode even further. I try to twist myself back into the upward direction, but the place is too is so cramped, I can barely move my limbs. Absolute terror floods my senses as I realize what happened next. The box is starting to fill with water. I can feel the coldness rising in an alarming rate, and I know what's going to happen if I don't get out of this thing fast. Help! I press all of my weight to upwards against the lid, attempting to get the box open. I try kicking, scratching, and screaming, but all of it is to no avail. Okay, deep breath. It's got to be some sort of trick. The water's going to stop coming in and someone is going to be laughing at me for being so scary a scary cat. Before I know it, the water reaches my chin, my mouth, my nose, my forehead. Please, whatever I did wrong, I'm sorry. Just let me out! It's dark, it's cold. I'm trapped and I'm terrified and I'm going to drown. There is only so long I can hold my breath for. It's the most horrible f of feelings. There'll be a moment when I reach my limit and can't help but desperately take another breath, only to have water flood my lungs. No, please, there has to be a something I can do, some way I can get out of this. Supposedly when you drown, you can still end up being conscious throughout the process for long minutes after you stop finding the strength to move. The universe is truly cruel, giving you a couple of additional moments of terror. Almost as if he wanted for you to know, to let it really sink in, that yes, you're about to die, and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. At this point, losing consciousness feels like a release. I... Wake up! Uh, okay... <laughs> Next thing I know, I'm shocked awake, hunched over the desk in my room. What the hell just happened? That I just... Was that some kind of twisted dream? It, it couldn't have been. Things get only more confusing when I notice two other things in my lap. One of them is the camera I found in the Japanese room. The other one is the red note I tried reaching into the box for. April 23, one of the kittens almost drowned in the toilet today. I show mercy and stop holding her head under the water, though. What the freak is that? Is that from back when? What does any of this mean? A chapter in Scarlet, Achievement Unlock. Achievement Unlock, Submerge. No, I haven't learned in my lesson yet, and so I find myself standing in the cursed building again. But this time I'm armed with the camera. And a passion and a dream. But this is all that I have for today. Thank you very much everybody for watching. I hope you had a blast. I was the Lost Chevalier, signing out. Bye bye.